All right, we're going to try something different here tonight. I'm going to make a little video of me putting up a graph in a PowerPoint so that you can do this for your PowerPoint that's due next week. I'm going to go over here and I'll, I'm opening up my PowerPoint. And let me make my PowerPoint a little smaller there. Get it on the screen. Okay, there it is. I think you can see that all now. And I'm going to open up. I think I'll open up this one. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to go down here to a blank slide. And I'm going to go ahead and title this. Yours might look different according to your background. But this would be my uh, graph. And it's going to be distance versus time. So we'll put that up. And now hopefully you have uh, gotten this uh, ping graphic from me. But I'm going to insert the graphic. I'm going to go over here and I keep it in my science folder. And let's see. It's in physics. There's physics. And let's go down here. Graph. There we go. And I made it uh, into a ping graphic because ping, PNG uh, graphics have a better background and on them. Now, notice that I'm going to put this on the corner and then I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to click and then hold down my shift key. And I could open this and make it bigger but keep the same ratio. Or you can make it smaller, depending on what you want to do. But there we have a graph. Now we can go up here to Insert. And I'm going to Insert Shapes. And I'm going to get a line. I'm going to use that line right there. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to place it and create my line. Now you notice my line is not the right color. So I'm going to go to drawing tools right there format so there's my format for drawing tools and I'm going to go over here to shape outline and let's make it a thicker line how's that a real thick I think I like that one so we're going to make it a little thicker then I'm going to make it black so let's get a different color go back there and pick a color there we go black good now I can take and copy that and so I'm going to right click and copy and then right click and paste and notice I got another one I'm gonna bring that over here and I'm going to rotate it I'm just gonna bring it up here so it's nice and straight and now just now oh click something wrong didn't I I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it over and then use my arrow keys to move it down and if it moves more than you want it to you can do sh uh, control arrow key and it moves only little uh, pieces at a time so notice I got that I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger and now I have my x-axis right here and my y-axis right here now we can go and let's insert some text so text box I'll come down here and insert some text and this would be my time t-i-m-e and that's in seconds now I really don't like that being that small so I'm gonna come up here find me a better font I'm gonna use Arial I think this time Arial and then I'm gonna bold it and then let's go up here at 8 it was at 18 let's go down let's see 24 28 looks pretty good I want it nice and big okay so I label that now let's go over here and put in the distance so again insert text box and then I'm gonna put in uh, distance and that's gonna be meters I want it to be the same as the time so I'm going to go, and notice I'm going to click on time. Then I'm going to go up here and uh, click twice on this little brush. And that will give me the same format. And I'm going to come over here and voila, I did that to the distance. 
and that's pretty cool. Okay, I'll go back and turn that off. And uh, now we—I don't want to go this way. I want to go. I, um, I want to go vertical, not horizontal. Maybe we'll just take and rotate it and do it this way. What do you think? So we have our distance, and we have our time. I think I like this one a little bit better. All right. So now I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it over and uh, I'm going to use my arrow keys to move this up a little bit. I'm gonna... All right. Now, what you want to do now is go through and count out the squares for your seconds and then you want to count out your distance and it's going to be in meters and then plot your points now you can plot your points by uh, going over to insert doing shapes and then clicking on the um, oval you can just go over here and then just make yourself a little dot okay and see there's the dot so click on it and you can change that dot to black so we're going to go over to format and click on shape fill click on black and now we got the fill is black. Oh, we need to also do the outline black. So I'll do that. Now we have a nice dot there. And we can make several dots. You can go ahead and click on it and do Control C and that'll copy it. And then Control V will be some dots. And then we can place them on wherever we need to place them. And you should have some kind of graph that's going to look like uh, something like this. And who I don't know exactly what your graph's gonna look like. I don't know what your seconds are gonna be. I don't know what your distance is going to be. It'll probably be large, right? I don't know. I'm just gonna put some dots on here showing you how you can do that. And there's some dots. Okay, there you go. It, I don't know that it's going to look like this or not. It's going to be up to you and how you do it. But there's some different dots for you. And you can place the dots on there. Be sure to put in the uh, numbers down here and the numbers along the side. And you can do that by doing insert and doing text box. And then moving them around where you want them. It takes a little practice, but you can do it. And that's uh, how you would do a graph. Now also, if you want to do the line of best fit on this, I would go down, let me go bring up my internet. I would go to the internet. Okay, let me center this over here. Let's bring it over. There we go. I would bring, I'd go to the internet. So I'm, uh, and of course, mine brings up Mr. Kazi's world. But if we go down here and find chemistry, and in the chemistry video section, you will find right here graphing data click on that and let's start it up and this will tell you how to graph data to find the line of best fit and it goes through all the steps uh, on how to do it and you can find uh, that right there on the uh, web okay tells you what you need all the things you need to do the whole bit so you want to go and check that out uh, first chance you uh, get there all right, if you have any questions, send me an email or give me a call. Good luck. Happy hurling.